Hi guys, I am doing a aquarium nail. I have got asked by so many girls to do this nail, so I thought I'd give it a go. But me and my mum came up with this idea. We were sitting there for ages trying to figure out how I can do this aquarium nail. So the acrylic products I'm using today are Nao, and I'm using their Max Edition Acrylic Liquid, their Natural Beige Cover Powder, these are the glitters I'm using from Sarah. I will leave all her links in the description box. But the ones I'm using are Lime Green Fizz, Spearmint Surprise and Splash. I'm also using some PowerShell. This I'm pretty sure I got in some gift mail. But you can purchase sheets of PowerShell off eBay. I'm going to be using some of this foil and that is from Tips and Toes Nail Supplies. These are the tips I'm using today. I will leave the link in the description box where you can purchase these from. So just for quickness, I did already apply the nail bed on my thumb and I'm going to fade these colors into the nail. piece of the power shell and I'm going to apply that using clear acrylic. Before I apply the next nail I'm going to put the foil onto it first before I glue it on. So bearing in mind that I want a little bit to glue onto the nail, I'm going to put the glue from about three quarters of the way up down and then apply the foil for the next part of the design. So I'm just going to wait for that to go clear and it goes a bit tacky and then I can add the foil. balls of clear acrylic on the nail and I'm going to do that to just get a little bit of clear dab your brush on the back of the paper towel to make the ball go harder and then that won't slop around all over the nail Nail, I'm just going to bring the nail bed down to where the colour starts. So now that nail's dry, I'm going to get an electric drill and just drill where I put the clear acrylic. So I'm just going to encapsulate that nail in clear. So now I'm on to the aquarium nail. Now what you need for these, usually people do the square nails but I really like my stilettos. So what I've done with these, I've got a number three for that one and a number eight for the smaller one. Most people pour them back to back like that. But I'm going to turn the little one round and then there's a bigger gap to put all the items in there. So all I'm going to do first is just put some really dry acrylic around here to seal the nails together.
all I'm going to use some silver glass glitter, green holographic tinsel and turquoise holographic tinsel and some silver beads. When I did this nail I used baby oil because I asked on Facebook which is better, water or oil and everybody said oil. But because I think it's how I've done the nail I've got a really big air bubble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use water and see what the difference is if it makes it any better. Okay so now I've got a syringe and I'm just going to put the water into the nail. See, with me using water, I haven't got any air bubbles, which is really good. So now I'm just going to get, again, really dry balls of acrylic and seal the top. Now I know some's gone in the water, but that's not such a big deal. So when this is completely dry, I'm going to get the electric drill and get rid of some of the excess acrylic on top or else I won't be able to fit it onto my nail. The last thing I'm going to do before I apply top coat is just put one of these strands of the underwater plants either side of the aquarium nail. I got this stamping plate from Moyu. So next I'm going to top coat the nails with glaze and go and also put some 2mm crystals around my nail bed on the aquarium nail. that's the end of the video really hope you enjoyed my version of the aquarium nails I know the nail looks a little bit thicker than usual but I just prefer to do the aquarium nail this way just a little bit different if you like this design I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and if you try it yourself please tag me on Facebook all the links will be in the description box thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video